Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this video is a continuation of the best rides at Walt Disney World, but today we're actually gonna be talking about Hollywood Studios. Uh, you know, for the longest time, I just couldn't call it Hollywood Studios. I was still calling it MGM. I don't know about you guys, leave it in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts, but now it's Hollywood Studios, has been for a very long time, and there are several rides. Um, I'm not gonna go over all the rides with you guys, but I am gonna go over what I feel are the best rides at Hollywood Studios. Um, at least for sure they are my favorite rides at Hollywood Studios. Which are the best rides at Disney World? All of them, right? So here are what I feel are the best rides at Hollywood Studios. And these are in no particular order, it's just what I think are the best rides at the actual park itself. So we're gonna start with Hollywood Tower of Terror. So the Hollywood Hotel Tower of Terror uh, from the Twilight Zone, absolutely one of the scariest rides I have ever been on. First of all, the theming for this ride is incredible. Uh, it gives you that, that Twilight Zone kind of creepy, mysterious, it's the Twilight Zone feel, right? It's an incredible, very immersive ride. Now it's haunted, right? So you go through and it tells you the story and you go out and when it drops, it is so scary. Um, I, I, I don't do well with rides like that, but I do it every single trip and I do it for my daughter Morgan because that is her favorite ride out of every single ride at Disney World. If you like the whole uh, not knowing what ride you're going to get. Every single ride is different. I swear to you though, I, I, I truly believe this, that when Dis when I'm there, Disney knows that I'm there and they know I'm going on the ride, they make it the longest ride possible every single time and it is so scary. Uh, sometimes you go on there and it's a short ride. You never get two rides that are identical. So it's just, it's a really incredible ride. Very scary for me, so uh, if you have, you know, um, I don't necessarily get motion sickness, but that ride, it's just, it just it messes with my, my equilibrium, I guess. But still, nevertheless, it is a great ride. Definitely a must do at least once while you're at Disney World. Now, the second ride that I will say is, just blows me away every single time I ride it. And that is the Rockin' Roller Coasters, Aerosmith's Rockin' Roller Coaster. It is out of this world. It is so cool. So you feel like you're in a stretch limo, super, 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 super stretch limo. Um, and then you line up like you've got to get to a concert and uh, you've got to take all the back streets and, you know, the freeways are all jammed up. And how do you get there? And how do you get all these, all these fans to the concert on time? And then it goes from, I think, zero to 60. I don't know. It, it goes super fast all at once. So it's, it's a launch coaster and it just launches you through and it's all inside and you go upside down, you go through corkscrew, sorry, corkscrews and it is just, it blows my mind because it's all in the dark and you have all of these neon lights and it's, oh, it's so cool because you feel like you're like going down this highway but all of a sudden you're doing flips and corkscrews and ah, you're, you know, you're always upside down. It's so cool, must do at least once while you're at Hollywood Studios. The next thing I would highly suggest that you guys do, and that is Toy Story Land. There is not a single bad ride in Toy Story Land. However, my favorite in Toy Story Land has got to be Slinky Dog Dash. It actually goes through, it doesn't do any upside downs or anything, so pretty, pretty good for most ages. It is a roller coaster, so you do go fast, you do go up, you go up and down, sideways. So you definitely get some nice, you know, relatively good G-forces, but nothing too strong. And the theming through Toy Story Land, and you get to see all the land uh, when you're up on the roller coaster, it's really neat. And the, you think it's over halfway through, but then there's a second launch to the coaster as well. So it definitely gives you, throws you back in your seat a little bit. Super, super fun, a must do. Now, I think another great ride while you're in Toy Story Land would be the Alien Swirling Saucers. And it's kind of like you're following the alien around, but you don't know which way the uh, car is gonna move. 
And that's something that I really thought was fun. I thought I was gonna get super dizzy on it because of the way it looks as you're looking at the ride. But it doesn't, it doesn't make you dizzy at all. You have no idea which way you're gonna go, so you're sliding around a little bit. Um, but super fun, uh, not a thrill ride, but I would say for sure, most all ages could go on this. I think there is a height requirement, but most all ages can go on it. And it is not a spinning ride, even though it appears to be, it is not a spinning ride. So must do, go check it out. My next favorite ride that I will say that is one of the best rides of all time. They have reimagined this ride a few times. And the last reimagining of this ride has really set it apart from any ride like it, and that is Star Tours. With Galaxy's Edge opening up, uh, there are so many more rides that are coming, but Star Tours was the original. Um, I mean, this is where it all started with this, this beautiful, beautiful relationship between George Lucas and Disney, really coming together on this ride and the creativity and the imagineering that went into it. It was just incredible. It is a simulator of you being in a, a spacecraft. The simulation is now to the point that no ride is exactly the same. Some rides are longer, some rides are shorter. It can be very jerky at times. So if you do get some motion sickness, I will say that this is one of the rides that I did have an issue with a little bit of motion sickness. But it was, again, just like Hollywood Tower of Terror, it was a very long ride. I've also done very short rides with this where I had no problems at all, but it is super fun. I will tell you that even if you do get a little bit of motion sickness in there, a little, little, just a little queasy, it's well worth it because of the immersion that takes place and you're on the planets, you're, you, you, you never know which planet you're gonna go to. So I would say it's a must do if you haven't done it. Although if you have done it, tell me what you think, guys. I mean, what, do you do you like the longer rides? Do you like the shorter rides? Uh, when you do go on Star Tours, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I am hoping that Star Tours is something that is never taken away from us. Even with the infusion of the, the, of the new land of the Galaxy's Edge, I, I hope that Star Tours will stay forever. It is a classic, but we'll see what Disney decides to do. For right now, I don't see it going anywhere and it's just an incredible ride. At the time of filming, those are my favorite rides at, at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They are what I will tell you are the best rides at Hollywood Studios. However, things may look a lot different after Galaxy's Edge opens at Hollywood Studios on August 29th. So we'll see. I can't wait to get back and actually, you know, take you guys along and, and show you our adventure. Uh, as Fun Fiero really just takes it to the next level. Also, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our channel if you guys haven't already. Uh, we'd love to be able to share more of these videos with you. Also, keep in mind, we have a fourth part coming up that I'm gonna do uh, the best rides on there, and that is Animal Kingdom. So until next time, guys, get out there, have some fun, and we'll see you on the flip side.